Hello, I'm Noel Capon and welcome to Chapter 9, Market Strategy, The Integrator. This is the first of three chapters dealing with Imperative 2, Set Strategic Direction and Positioning. And for my money, it's probably the central chapter of the book. Now, in this chapter, we talk about the market strategy. But as we learned in Chapter 8, each market comprises several different market segments, and in each segment, the customers in that segment have different sets of needs and priorities of needs than customers in another segment. Hence, in formulating the market strategy, we are really integrating a series of market segment strategies so that the fundamental unit of the market strategy is really the market segment strategy. In the chapter, we first of all talk about the several purposes of a market strategy, and then we move to laying out and discussing the elements of a market segment strategy. The first of these elements are the objectives. What is it that the firm wants to accomplish in the market segment? And there are really two different types of related objectives here. The first is the strategic objective, uh, which is qualitative and directional. Is the, firm for for, is the firm, for example, interested in profits or cash flow or growth or market share? And second of all, how much and by when? We call these the operational objectives. By the time that the firm has figured out both its strategic objectives and its related operational objectives, it has a pretty good idea of what it's trying to achieve in that segment. The second element of the market segment strategy is the strategic focus. And here the idea is the firm must decide whether it wants to achieve its objectives by increasing unit sales or to achieve its objectives by increasing profitability and investment returns. If it chooses unit sales, then it's got to figure out whether those sales are going to come from current revenue sources or whether they're going to come from new revenue sources. If it decides to focus its efforts on uh, increasing margin and investment returns, it has to figure out whether that should give it increased revenues or whether it should be cutting costs and reducing investments. And for each of those options, there are indeed some sub-options. So the firm must really understand what its options are and then make some choices among them. The third element is probably the heart of the market strategy, what we call positioning. And here there are four separate questions that the firm must answer and must answer very precisely based on the insight that it gained uh, from the discussion we had on chapters 3, 4, and 5. First of all, who are the customer targets? Second of all, who are the competitive targets? In other words, who is the firm going up against in order to secure business from its customer targets? Third, what is the value proposition? When it gets right down to it, why do customers or why should customers purchase or recommend uh, the firm rather than those of its competitors. And finally and fourthly, but very important, what is the reason to believe? In other words, why should those customer targets believe that the firm in fact can deliver the value that it says it will deliver in the value proposition? So there you have the first three elements of the market segment strategy. The fourth is implementation, and this is the area which we spend most of the time in the book on and which most students will be familiar with. That is the marketing mix or the so-called four P's and an S. Those are the marketing implementation factors. And then there are a set of other factors that the firm as a whole or other functions in the firm must also implement, whether it be finance, human resources, manufacturing, technical service, or whatever. So those are the elements, the core elements for market segment strategy. Now, to form a market strategy, the firm must integrate those various product market segment strategies into a coherent whole of the market strategy. 
it will look for areas where there are overlap uh, to see where it can get synergies to avoid what we might call negative synergies. But in other words, it has to integrate the several market segment strategies into a market strategy. Now, as I said, this is probably the most central chapter of the book. So you may want to read it a couple of times just to make sure you've got the, the hang of it uh, because it will prove really important to you as you move into the uh, implementation chapters uh, that deal with the four piece and an S or, or the marketing mix. Good luck.